Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Uh, got a real cool riff uh, combined off of a chord that I think you're really going to dig. Uh, also, I have a free chord and scale book and uh, you know special lessons for you that are not on YouTube. You can click that link down there and check all that stuff out. It'll really help you learn, and I appreciate it. Uh, but let's zoom in right now and check, uh, check out some of this uh, cool cool riffage here. All right, here we go. All right, so the first thing you got to do is you got to tune down your low E string to match your D string. There's a lot of ways to, you know, you could use an electronic tuner. Using your ear is best, but there's a lot of resources to get into drop D. And the thing with drop D, and this uses like the kind of the land of drop D, that whenever you have a D chord, you can strum the whole guitar and you get a really powerful chord. Now I'm not really hearing that note in this riff, so it's more, you know, that second fret of the high E's muted. And there's three variations with this tuning that I'm going to show you in this lesson. The first one... So basically, the first thing we're going to do is we're playing this whole D, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my middle finger off the chord, and I, we're just, you know, trying not to hit that high E. You can let your palm mute it a little bit, or your ring finger can touch it. Okay, so we got that. Then. We're going to take our middle finger, which it's free now, and we're going to put it on the third fret of the D string. Then we're moving it over to the third fret of the A string. And then it's kind of a little Bon Jovi kind of thing. We hit that, then we hit the open D with the G string in there too, if you can do it. And then the third fret of the D, and then off, so it looks like this. Notice, you know, I'm playing it with my thumb, my finger. It's because it's like the little intro. It's like a little soft spot, a little soft part. And there's acoustic in there as well. Okay, now we're going to rock out, and you want to use some kind of distortion pedal, overdrive pedal anything that you can get some grit out of. Not to say if you don't have one, you can't play it, because you totally can, as well as this whole thing works really well on acoustic guitar as well. So, uh, did I say as well enough? Here we go. So we got a uh, big D power chord. Remember, we don't need our middle finger on the D chord, because that high E's muted. So we're doing more of a power rock kind of vibe. So we got that. Then we got third fret on the A, so we got Now when I go to that note, I'm letting my middle finger mute that top string. So that's the, you know, that's the note that's like the root. Okay, then we're gonna, I'm using my index finger on the second fret of the A. Same kind of vibe. So it 
has a little riff in between the chord strumming, and it's open three, open three. And remember when that drop D tuning. Now the second riff goes. So instead of the second one moves over to the A string. So watch how I alternate that. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. Open A string, open D three, open A three. Uh. Okay, the next section, and that pretty much covers the bulk of the song, except for a like a you know like a crazy jam riff you know that's kind of at the end but other than that it all does this stuff here uh next thing d thing again middle finger on the third fret of the a again index of uh index on the second fret of the a and then we slide it down to index on the first fret of the a I'm just keeping that ring finger on that third fret of the B. Hope you got something from that. Uh, remember, I got all the goodies in that link down there. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for the support. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, hope to see you in another lesson real soon. Take care. See you later.